Well, welcome back. Earlier in the special, we talked about the RNC and the Mitt Romney campaign setting up a shadow party in Nevada. And the reason for that tactic is pretty simple, because what the national media is not telling you is that there is a bigger fight here for more than just one Republican primary. So just to make the point clear, the Iowa GOP State Central Committee now has six members who have publicly expressed support for Ron Paul's candidacy, and that includes the new state chair of the Iowa Republican Party, A.J. Spiker, the former vice chairman for the Paul campaign in Iowa. Ron Paul supporters have also taken over the GOP in Louisiana, with not a bare majority, but a whopping 74% of the delegates to Louisiana State Convention in June. It's the same story in Alaska, where the Paul movement took over the Republican Party State Convention. They elected two Ron Paul supporters to positions of state chair and co-chair. In Nevada, Paul supporters also elected to lead the state Republican Party. And in Maine, the same story where two Paul supporters elected to the Republican National Committee, as well as a number of positions within the GOP leadership. Which is why in an article titled, Forget the Nomination, Ron Paul's Revolution is Taking Over the Republican Party, W.E. Messmore writes this. He writes, quote, whether media commentators consider this change a good or bad thing for the Republican Party and for the future of American politics, they have an obligation to report it to their audiences and to acknowledge just how significant this change is. We are witnessing no less than a political revolution in the country and a major shift in the GOP's internal composition. For two election cycles now, Paul supporters were an outside minority that had to make their case to the party establishment. It looks like in 2014 and 2016, Republican candidates will have to make their case to Ron Paul supporters in many places. And that is exactly why Reality Check is covering this primary the way that we are. Too often people believe that our goal here is to promote the campaign of one person, Congressman Paul, or to work to derail the campaign of Governor Romney, and both ideas are simply incorrect. The goal here is to make sure that we are honestly covering what is, in reality, the biggest story of this presidential primary season. In the late 1980s, evangelical Christians began to make their voices heard in politics. It took the media a while to catch up, not realizing that this fringe group was about to take over the Republican Party. It did. Today, candidates can forget about winning the nomination of the party without that evangelical vote. And the same thing is happening again. The media, once again, they don't see it. There is a new fight for the Republican Party, one that will likely turn the grand old party well, into a whole new party. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, those here in Cincinnati, as well as viewers watching our live stream here in the U.S. and around the world. And don't forget, we're always on at fox19.com. Good night.